this hour. And on the doctor side, we are hearing new stories about cuts to federal payments and physicians saying that they can't afford to take on more Medicaid cases at this point. They simply cannot. So today, some reporters covering this story are starting to ask whether the feds may force doctors to treat the patients that they don't want. Joining me now, National Review correspondent Kevin Williamson. Kevin, welcome. Good Hi, to have thank you. you. Here tonight. Is this possible? I mean, they, they, they could basically say to these doctors, look, you know what? We need to cover these people. We promised we were going to cover these people. You got to do it. Yeah, well, you already have Democratic candidates for state house races talking about this, uh, passing laws saying that doctors will be forced to take Medicare patients. And that's really the problem because Obamacare is meant to do two things, to expand coverage and reduce federal spending on health care. It's supposed to get those savings out of Medicare. And the problem is that doctors are already in open revolt against Medicare and Medicaid as well because the reimbursement rates are so low. So as we get an aging population and they continue to cut those rates or to not let them go up to normal market rates, you're just going to have a large population of people who can't see doctors. So they're going to have health care, at least health insurance, but no doctors to go to and no way to get in. So the most likely thing, and really the only thing that will probably make this work, that would make it work, and I don't think it will work, but would be to force doctors to see these patients. As long as doctors have a choice about who they see, they're going to select out of this, and it's not going to work. And what, and what mechanism could they use to force them to see patients and treat them if well, they don't want to? It's sure. a private business to be a doctor. There are no private businesses anymore. We know that. Uh, doctors have licenses. Uh, they're at the mercy of the states in which they yeah. practice, and this will be uh, decided by the state uh, legislatures. And we've seen the Mayo Clinic and other places that have already you know, basically said, we're not going to cover these people. We simply can't. It just doesn't work. Yeah, but depending on who you ask, between about a third and a half of all doctors won't take on new Medicare patients. Lots and lots of doctors just categorically won't see Medicaid patients at all. Uh, in Texas, you've got a real just sort of open revolt about this. A lot of doctors going to a cash-only basis. And, uh, you know, if the Obamacare policies end up looking something more like Medicare or Medicaid with the same sort of pressure on rates for doctors, they're simply not going to want to see those either. And you're not going to have much of a choice except to try to use coercion to make them go along with the program. It's looking more and more like, you know, there's a huge divide between the rich and the poor and the middle class, really, the kind of service that they're going to get. Um, the rich will always be able to pay these doctors, and they may just want that model. Uh, we'll see. Kevin, thank you very thank much. You. Interesting piece. Thanks for coming in tonight. My pleasure. Well, even before the fact checkers tonight labeled the president's broken promise the lie of the year, a top White House staffer was offering a new explanation for the president's broken promise. We're going to have that for you coming up.